told you that there are sparrow babies downstairs or swallow babies swallows and the parents were just chilling on this balcony watching luke clean up a little bit and it was so cute but i think one of them left when i went to get a camera for more context every year we have swallow family i don't know if it's the same parents but they come back and they make three to four babies and they raise them until they leave the nest somewhere in our backyard or the front yard and it's really cute so apparently they all wait outside of grandma's room now because she's often the first one out and i think it's really hilarious just because she's not crazy fond of cats but now she has turned into a cat lady whether she likes it or not And they are gone. Why? Because you flinched? One of them got scared and all of them got scared. Oh my shoe! Oh my god. Hehe. <laughs> it got really hot. I stopped for peeing twice, gas once, and we are parked in slow for an early dinner. I drove the last third, but we still have a few hours after this for Los Angeles. So I'm probably gonna do the rest of that driving because it's relaxing. You have to go at 55 miles per hour. golden hour i'm waiting for him to come out but wow i really needed to pee a lot today but it's important to stay hydrated especially it's pretty warm out two and a half more hours until we arrive in los angeles gratefully we're staying with one of luke's good friends from high school and tonight i'm gonna go to my first korean spa ever i don't think i can vlog but i'm looking forward to it I need to go too. It's not like the breathing is a problem, but it gets in your eye. I'm walking and I'm like squinting or like kind of shielding my face because it's so dusty outside. Switch. We were caught like 45 minutes of just sitting and not moving at all due to collision. So in it's bottom line. The other side is also very stuck. Very, very jammed. While we were waiting, I have pillows here and I even opened up the top glass thing to look at the one star that's visible outside. Stargazing, literally. Right now we have one more hour until the destination. The destination is LA. Okay. That's going to be so hard to put back on in the morning. Well, maybe we can have Michelle's help or something. Three, two, one. Okay, so that okay. Ow, ow. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? Put on my toe. Oh no. It was not the worst, but it was a dumb mistake. My problem of needing to pee really bad still has not been... Oh my god. What is that? <laughs> alleviated. Luke's friend went to the spa without us. Might not be back for a couple of hours. I'm going to possibly pee oh, in one of the planned nature spaces among these urban environments here. Um, that is probably, I kind of Of course my camera dies. Right on time. I'm showered now, I'm clean, relaxed, about to sleep. Luke is showering. Long story short, okay, if I didn't have to pee so badly, I would have made better choices and put on my shoe. But it's actually okay. Like in the shower, I was surprised it didn't really hurt. I just hope that I could wear shoes tomorrow. Had a really nice lunch though. That was probably like the highlight of the day. So I'm very excited to be back here in LA for the first time in 
three years. Good night. That did not work. Good night. Good morning from my toe and I. Michelle has the cutest little kitten, Ivy. So beautiful. Um, she's working from home, so we're out about doing whatever today. Gonna go to Earth Cafe for coffee before driving up to see my good friend Dylan. Just pay the meter. There you go, get coffee. Fragrant and delicious. Oh, it smells really good. It's very, really it's very rich. Wait, do I have yours? No, no, this is definitely chocolate. Yeah. Well, that one's good. This one's really good. Yeah, this good. one says mocha on top. I decided to get the Spanish latte, which is their famous one. They invented it 1994. Earth Cafe Original. I just love how many Art Deco buildings there are. And it's so different. Like all of the buildings, even the contemporary ones are so different than New York. So I'm just like soaking out all of the visuals, like staring, so many squares. What is that? It looks like an Incredibles. <laughs> what is that box? We miss LA, like the landscape. It's been so long. I just love seeing all of these oddly shaped things. <laughs> it's a round bus. not mixing. Wait, try changing direction. <laughs> no, I'm just, Go I, I, no, now. I think it'll mix it more. Really chill and long lunch and chats with Dylan. I never mind just spending forever chatting with him. It's always nice catching up. And it's 3.30 or something. We're at Third Street Promenade. And it is such a nice day to walk. It's like, imagine sunny, but kind of chilly in the shade, 70 two or three degrees. He looks like a tourist. He's carrying my film camera. They're all out of Kodak disposables, so like I just invested in this last second, and I have some experimental film going on, so we'll see how it turns. We're gonna go to the Korean spa tonight, but not before reparking this bitch across the street. This side has early morning street cleaning. Big Yui. Right in front of this car, pull right. Oh yeah. I did that. T-shirt, towel, and I pick my shorts here. But this is where I'm gonna say goodnight and put you in the locker. 
yeah, I'm gonna go relax. I did a rotation of a lot of the different rooms. It was like a private spa because I was the only one there. I did a lot of like the hot tubs, the steam rooms. And then Luke and I did some co-ed dry, what do you call those, saunas? And that's like in the common area lounge room where people can actually lay down and rest. So I passed out for about two hours or three. So it's almost seven in the morning after I enjoyed the spa a lot. So $45 worth it. So I spent about 10 minutes in each one, except for that round one, 200 something degrees. I only lasted 50 seconds. There's a cafeteria up there, but overnight they reduced the menu to just in ramen. And in the daytime, there's also childcare and massage services you can pay extra for. And if you check out before 1 a.m., it's only $30. So one day I would love to come back with some friends and have really nice chats with them. As you know, we were supposed to go with friends if it weren't for being caught in highway 5 traffic on the way down but luckily on our last day Michelle and Grayson had the time to meet up with us for lunch and we got hot pot together at Heidi Law which is a very famous chain and it was a good time Time to go soon. I've been reorganizing all of the stuff in the car. I know it looks really messy, but it was like three times worse. I rearranged it into piles. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, oh, oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for visiting. I'll we'll be back, I promise, just for you. <laughs> Bye. Our jank roadside setup for taking out my contacts in the middle of the road. All right, we are all set for the road. Got gas, coffee, strong. Three hours and 40 minutes until Vegas, and I'm gonna start driving first. This concludes chapter one of the road trip series and I will see you very soon in Vegas. Make sure that you have notifications turned on so tap the bell. When I upload throughout the month, you will be notified and stay on track with the journey now and forever, obviously. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I'm sending you my love and take care until next time. Goodbye.